Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Overwatch update video. An interesting post came from Overwatch's principal designer, Jeff Goodman, today. He's been hard at work on the forums again, letting people know that they've been testing some changes internally to D.Va, everyone's favorite infinite damage-eating Korean girlfriend. The changes are essentially a rework and they are as follows. Defense Matrix energy gain has been increased by two times, meaning that her effective uptime for this ability has been cut straight in half. Now, hold on, dead diva mains, I don't want to hear you crying yet. It is it is a nerf, like I understand that is a nerf to her current playstyle in which she just eats all the damage, but similar to how Lucio got a rework in the past, this is, yeah, this is a similar rework. Diva can now use her fusion cannons while using her booster ability. This will allow her to become more effective at harassing and fleeing enemies and or just a useful tool to put out some damage while on the move, which I think is the more fun way to play D.Va anyway, and I imagine that's how they initially imagined that she'd be able to play as more of a harasser rather than just a an infinite damage-eating sponge that just stands in front of, the, uh, front of the enemy team and just holds right-click and eats all the damage that they put out. Also, she's getting a complete new ability, micro-missiles. D.Va launches a long salvo of small missiles that... Upon impact, deal damage in a small radius around them. This ability can be used while using her other abilities or firing her fusion cannons, which is very, very cool. Um, similar to how Orisa can use her other abilities and how D.Va can now fly and use her fusion cannons at the same time. This is actually a serious change. Adding complete new ability to a well-established Overwatch character is always fantastic. Basically giving everyone something new to play with, almost a whole new character. Jeff does go on to say, The combination of these changes allow her to play more aggressively and deal more damage, at the cost of being able to use Defentrix as often as before. Defense Matrix still remains an extremely powerful tool when timed correctly, but the reduced uptime means D.Va won't be able to use it nearly as often overall. Her new Micro Misses ability in combination with her ability to fire while flying will allow for some more aggressive play, as well as opening up some new options versus heroes such as Pharah. Jeff does put this a little bit more elegantly than I can. Overall, the goal here is to reduce her reliance on Defense Matrix and make her even more fun to play. As far as balancing goes, we want to nerf Defense Matrix as an ability, not D.Va as a hero. She's been a fun of a fun of ton, a ton of fun to play with these changes, and we're looking forward to letting you guys play with them as well. Hopefully, we'll have a new PTR up soon. I, for one, am incredibly excited by these changes. I love playing D.Va, and to see her get reworked in such a way as to make her less reliant on Defense Matrix will have a massive impact on the game. There will be more overall damage going around when someone picks a D.Va on your team and when someone picks a D.Va on the enemy team, because basically she'll be able to deal more damage, but she'll also be able to block less damage than before. Very, very exciting stuff. With all these changes that we've spoke about over the last few days and weeks and stuff like that, the next Overwatch update is going to be absolutely insane. Multiple hero buffs and reworks, new maps, new game modes, continual UI and game-related improvements. This is all fantastic stuff, and you do have to give praise to the Overwatch development team. They are so, so good to us. Also, you do have to give props to Jeff Goodman for being so transparent on the forums. Pretty much every time he says something is going on the PTR, it does end up there a few weeks. Usually, usually pretty soon later after he says that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this. If you did enjoy and you want to keep up to date with more Overwatch news and other gaming-related content that I do make, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. Anyway, this has been Luke from Less Than Average Gaming, and I hope you guys have an above-average day, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.